Women in Construction Week is taking place March 5th through 11th. Our Morgan Doyle speaks with local women in the industry and tells us more about opportunities for females in the construction field. Construction may be a male-dominated field, but there are many women in St. Joseph who have a passion for the industry. From a kid, I've always loved design. You know, I was more interested in my Barbie's furniture than I was their clothes. Melissa Reeser is a designer at Van Cleve Construction, Remodeling and Design. She says as long as someone has the drive and desire to be in the field, their skills can be put to good use. There's a mind shift in um, a woman being on a construction site versus a male just because of the way it's been for a long time and it isn't necessarily wrong, it's just different. Younger girls starting out in the industry are learning that along the way. They're not like, oh, you're a girl, you can't do that. Because like that's what I thought was going to happen, but it's not like that. It's just I have to. It's harder to get involved. Like you have to like have that strive to do it, and if you don't, then you're not going to get anywhere. Electra Thorpe is a carpentry student at Hilliard Technical Center. Her instructor, Brian Weed, says there are lots of opportunities for women in construction. There's a huge skills gap right now, and we're just trying to find skilled workers to take those positions. But this is an opportunity for both male and female. We have three ladies in the office and one in the field and they are uh, invaluable to our team. Nicole Davis is in the field at Van Cleve Construction as a lead carpenter. She's involved in every step of the remodeling process and has advice for future women in construction. It's not just a man's field. Obviously it's kind of dive right in and you can learn a lot from just on the job and getting your hands dirty and if you have a passion for it I think anyone that really wants to do it is able to. Morgan Doyle, News Press Now.